Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So, the video title is not alive. I find Battlefield 2042 currently very boring to play. That's also why you are seeing a very different type of gameplay currently in the background. But yeah, let's start. So, Battlefield 2042 Season 7 just launched. As of me making this video, the season is out for 5 days. And I already don't want to play anymore. The new map is not good, but it's okay. As I said in my first impressions video, it very heavily depends on who you are playing against and who you are playing with with as teammates and enemies but overall the map is nowhere near as good as redacted and it really can't hold my interest now as for the other things there really isn't much to do in the game currently the only progression i still have as a long time player is literally just the battle pass and even there even though i like some skins the battle pass alone is no reason for me to continuously grind the game and even if it were a reason the most efficient way for me to grind the battle pass would be to log on every tuesday when they update the weekly challenges play for two hours to get my challenges done and then stop playing the game and do something else until next week's new challenges because with how much they increase the xp you get or rather you need to get one point it's not really worth grinding the game when you have no missions and since i'm basically done with all missions i see no reason for me to hop on and grind the battle pass because the only thing i get from the battle pass really is skins i already have the smg the ak 5c i get probably next week or the week after that if i just do the weekly missions and then there's nothing left in the battle pass i'm really interested in i don't care about the launcher so that's that so the map already isn't very interesting for me the battle pass is not no re reason for me to even play the game continuously when it's more efficient for me to just log on every tuesday to play for two hours then with all the weapon changes they made i don't know what they did but the game currently feels horrible to play like i know last season and the seasons before the gunplay wasn't really that great already most guns had no recoil there were laser beams the sound wasn't really that interesting the hit rack was already bad so the gunplay overall in this game just isn't it and they tried to elevate the gunplay by adding the visual recoil and i think even the people that said oh this looks great they can't wait to test it they now realized how bad it is with some guns being completely useless some guns really being barely affected by it and overall the gunplay is even worse and for some reason the netcode feels so much worse than it did last season the amount of times i died around the corner is just insane and it's not like i die like one or two frames around the corner where i'm like yeah maybe they still saw like my backpack and hit me or something no i'm literally two blocks around the corner there's no way they saw me and i still die so even the gameplay currently feels horrible and then you know you could say yeah well maybe the new map is not that good then go and play the older maps and in fact i did I queued Conquest 64 because I don't really want to play Conquest 128. So I queued Conquest 64, got on Exposure, the season 1 map, and it was boring. In the first 10 minutes of me playing this map, I had like three gunfights. One gunfight was a flank where I killed a few people, then they all turned around and killed me. All fine, even though I spent like two minutes to even get to the flank. The next gunfight was literally on a choke where I got like two kills because nobody was moving. And then my third gunfight was I was literally getting out of the underground base out in the open some random sniper shot me that was sitting between the rocks where you couldn't see him i fired back at him he started moving and then some ak came flying out of nowhere with a parachute and killed me and this was my exposure experience so i just quit the game because it was boring i remind you this was in like 10 minutes i shot my gun like three times that's how boring normal conquest is and then after this i actually went to breakthrough because i'm more of a breakthrough player anyways and i got one round on spearhead i think in my first impressions video i did two days ago you actually saw some spearhead gameplay with the new smg for a short while the round was actually okay nothing great but nothing too bad either and then i queued again and i was on renewal and i was defense the first time i just quit before the map even started or the round even started then i searched again got renewal again but this time on attack and on a different server and i can tell you the map plays so bad it's it's literally criminal we my team already captured the first sector so i was attacking the second sector with them and there was literally no cover in the second sector I played Falk. Remind you, with Falk you have basically three smokes most of the time because you can just throw two smokes and then refill one smoke with your ammo box and throw a third one. And I still felt like I had not enough smokes to cover every angle so that I could safely arrive on the objective. So it was complete bullshit. I died so many times just trying to get to the objective even with all three smokes covering most of my angles. 
then when we finally captured this point after almost completely getting wiped out with the tickets we went on to the third point this was actually captured really quickly by our team because i just zipped up to like the middle part where you can cross the border with the tanks killed the people on the roof and then we basically captured the point for free and then for the fourth point fourth point i literally saw four enemies the whole time we were capturing this of sector i saw two uh, two enemies on a and two enemies on b i captured b first i literally crossed this open field so basically nobody then i saw one sniper i knifed him easy dog tech collector and then one sundance came out of nowhere shot my teammate in the back and i killed her this was how we captured the b flag or the a2 flag whatever it's called and then we went to the other side to capture the a flag there i grabbed it onto the roof got killed by McKay because my PP29 was bouncing all over my screen so I missed basically every shot. I said okay respawned, say McKay was in a head glitch, I tried to beam him out of the head glitch. Last season I could do it, this season again my weapon was bouncing all over again so I died again. We captured the point. Oh yeah and also while trying to cross to the A1 flag after capturing the A2 flag, some random fucker was lying in the middle of the road with an LMG and was just beaming me the second I had no cover. So this was a fun experience. And then the second point, or not the second, the last point, that played great again because it was like in this building so you had some more close quarter fights, you had some more action but you also had room to breathe to you know heal, reload and stuff. This was really well and I really had a lot of fun but overall it was basically unplayable like 90% of the time. I also shortly tapped into a breakthrough round on Hourglass and it was also a miserable experience. Team wasn't moving, the enemies were just camping and then had glitches. No fun at all. So and I don't know what really the problem is because obviously last season I spent so much time playing Redacted. Maybe that fried my brain a little bit and I can't really play the slower game modes anymore but the game just isn't fun currently. I don't know how to explain it differently the new map isn't really there to get me invested the new guns even though i have to say it, the new guns are not overpowered especially compared to like last season with the vhx and the g428 but they also don't make me like want to play the game the scc the smg the only reason a lot of people play it and think it's good is because they kind of forgot to add visual recoil to the gun so it's one of the only guns you can actually aim with properly but when it comes to like damage the gun is nowhere near being a good smg i think 267 millisecond ttk if you just buddy shoot with the gun so every other smg outperforms this gun by a mile even the pp29 and then for the ak5c from what i heard it's uh it's basically the same with the smg the gun is okay no basically no visual recoil that's why a lot of people like it compared to the other guns but it's also not great when it comes to like dealing damage and stuff so i don't know those two guns don't really get me invested and the only reason i would play this season even these days would be redacted but they took it away so i really hope they had redacted on tuesday or if they don't add it this tuesday that's not that much of a problem because i go on vacation on wednesday anyways for a few weeks so i can't play the upcoming week anyways but i hope they had redacted 24 7 in two weeks when i'm back from my vacation so that i can finally play it again and have some fun again and i also hope they removed the visual recall changes because they are just super unfun to play or they should just make it a setting where people that want the immersion they can just turn it on and have the immersion while the rest of us normal people can just turn it off and play normally again but honestly if they don't add redacted 24 7 again i don't even know if i want to play the game that much anymore but yeah i would be now very interested to hear thoughts what are your thoughts on the season so far are you enjoying it can't you wait to play any more of it or are you just basically saying well the game is kind of boring and if they don't add redacted that you don't see yourself playing the game because that's currently my state but yeah let me know down in the comments below for me personally i find the game super boring and unfun to play currently i rather just play force of horizon as you can see in the background and yeah i will now leave you with the rest of the gameplay enjoy it and hopefully i see you in the next video